Hello, Scorpio. Welcome back to There's That Tarot. Scorpio. Somebody may feel more comfortable slowing things down or they may feel better either with like Communication slowing down between the two of you or just slowing things down. What is this about? You may notice that someone has become more guarded with their communication. Perhaps even their messages, their phone, a little guarded. Some of you could be dealing with the Earth sign towards Virgo Capricorn. Somebody's being tempted. And it's like they're they're I don't know, it's like a focus. Somebody may not be willing to fight anymore, or are you? Somebody, okay, so this is like someone who's eased up off the the gas that's the feeling it's like I'm gonna just gradually fade out of the frame you know what I'm saying that's what this is giving justice in the reverse somebody may have some regrets about not being the person that they were supposed to be is this you Like, even though I don't want this to end, this looks like somebody's being tempted. Is this you? What don't they want to end? So this is a relationship read. <laughs> it's almost like, who knows? That may be how you feel about this situation. It's like, who knows which way this is going to go. It looks like somebody's being awakened in some way. But I feel like it's distracting them from what they're doing right now. The song that's playing right now is called Hot Air. You may feel like somebody's blowing you a bunch of hot air. Magician in the reverse. Fool in the reverse. They're guarded and not communicating and detaching for a reason. Could be about their happiness or some sort of clarity that they've received about the connection. They're fearful because they don't know which way to go. I don't want things to be over, but I also want to feel better. I also want to, you know, distress in some sort of way. Somebody's been holding back from you, Scorpio. Is this you? Somebody feels like they've been settling. And it's like, I'm ready to wipe this slate clean, right? Capricorn energy. What's the fear? Is this your person? Yes. They could be a... Is this for themselves? There's a third party. I don't think there has been contact. I feel like there has been fights between you and this person and your person. Maybe, I don't know, it's like somebody's coming to let someone know something. Maybe that they have tried. It's like I've tried to make this work. But I think I'm wanting to do something different. I think I'm wanting to 
Maybe look at something new. Is this a new option? Water sign energy. Yes, the Wheel of Fortune. And it's, look, it's like someone's looking to be upgraded in some way. Not upgraded, but just moving forward, upgrading. I don't know. that Five of Pentacles in the reverse of the Wheel of Fortune gives me upgrade energy. What's telepathy about? You two may have been communicating telepathically with each other, like communicating an ending between the two of you. What is that Wheel of Fortune about, though? Because this doesn't have to be romantic. I feel like it's for the sake of someone's own happiness. It's like... I don't feel happy anymore. I would, I would feel better if... Someone may feel like they've only been receiving a part of someone. Is this you? It's like, I don't want a part of you. I want all of you. Why is the Knight of Wands here in the reverse? Somebody's been holding on to something. It's like they've been waiting. It could be a truth about not wanting to wait anymore. Is this you? Somebody feels stressed and stuck and like they're not wanting to commit to this anymore. One person may be dependent on the other and watching. This person is thinking about something new. A new opportunity, a new life, some sort of freedom. What's the ace of wands? This person feels like it's like they're they're caught in the middle. There's a part of them that wants to run away from the from the the part that's not happy, and there's another part of them that doesn't want things to be over. But it's like they may feel like things are not in harmony between the two of you. Something about sequence or glitter could be significant. Somebody may be running away from the truth. There could be like codependency here. Or insecurities, trust issues. Somebody may be trying to get over their heartache before they miss out on an opportunity. Or they, okay, so let's say like if I see that you are pulling away from me, but you've also done me wrong. But it's like no. But what if what if I'm making the wrong decision by letting you go? So it's like somebody is stressed about which way they should move. It's like, should I stay or should I go? I... Something about flexibility versus rigidity. It's like, do what comes natural to you. How are you truly feeling about this, Scorpio? Because I'm confused. A lot of you need time to think about it. Need time. To, it's like sleeping on it. There could have been interferences in this connection. And so that's why you've taken your stance. Because there's something that you know already, Scorpio. You know. It's very clear to you. You're just waiting for someone to communicate it to you. To be honest with you about it. could remind you like of all I've done for you there could be like something of, of uh, keeping keeping track of everything that was done could be monetarily somebody may have wanted to take care of you you 
wondering if this person was serious, like if, if this was if he if this is something that you could trust, if this is someone who I don't know, I feel like you you didn't have a lot of peace in this connection. This person may go cold at times. They don't put in a lot of effort. They may become guarded with you. You may feel like, wow, such a beautiful connection or a strong connection we once had and it feels unrequited. You may feel like this is not working. If you don't have peace about it, Scorpio, that's that does say something. You may feel like this person is always like watching to see what you do or something like that. Somebody may have poured it on too thick. Too soon. So we may have rushed into this. Because it felt good. want to talk to this person maybe bring the issues to the to the forefront you know what I mean you may want someone to tell you the truth if there was another person are you done dealing with them are you ready to commit meanwhile this person is kind of losing patience this person feels you know like I don't, I don't know if I want to wait anymore they're holding back what are they they're looking at something. They're looking at something or someone. There's a distraction here. It's like they're wanting to... I'm getting someone who's wanting to break up. Something about just us. It's like, you remember when it was just you two? dealing with a Capricorn or an Aries or Pisces. But I asked them, um, I asked if this if this emperor was your person. He said no. And I said, how does this person feel? How does your person feel about this emperor? And the devil came up. It could be a Capricorn. So okay. The emperor and the devil. Why the devil? Why is the devil their feelings for this person? Two of wands in the reverse. This is an attraction. This is something that it's like, however they feel, they can't stop thinking about it. It's like causing them to be honest with themselves. This could be something that they are wanting to pursue. Their intuition is, is messing with them. This, this is the Ace of Cups that we've been seeing, that I keep seeing in this reading. This is the Ace of Cups. So they're looking at letting go of the past. So this could be the very thing that runs them out of this relationship is what this looks like. What is the emperor? The will of fortune. Remember I showed you the will of fortune earlier? Them want... Ah. Let's see. This looks like somebody who is on their way out of the door. Is this person you? So 
that's your person. Your person's in a manifesting energy right now. I feel like you're trying to work on this. You're trying to communicate and, you know, bring things to the surface. Like, let's talk about it. Let's 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 talk about why things didn't work before and, and recommit. I still have hope for this. Your person is manifesting, is, is strategizing their way out. They don't see where this is growing. It's like I would, it's just like I could come back to this if there was no more conflict. But there's something that burdens them in this connection. And there's something that stops them from investing. And I feel like there's something that this person has had their eye on. And it's something stressing this person. It stresses them to, I don't know, to try to work on this. They're wanting to go for something new. And this could be a, a, a new connection. But they know that they have to put an end to something first. This could be you, Scorpio. Maybe the other way around. They could have gone after something else out of ego. Out of boredom in the relationship. Is this the same person? Is that the same person that we were just talking about? Yes. They're dealing with someone else romantically. Have they been sexual with this person? They're holding back. They haven't done that yet. And it could... I feel like... Is this you? But you are... They may have in the past. Have they been with this... Whoever this other person? They haven't been... They haven't made contact. So if this person cheated in the past, they haven't made contact with this other person sexually. But I think you still hold back from them because of what they did in the past. But here's this Ace of Cups again. And there's somebody who wants this Ace of Cups. Ace of Cups, Nine of Cups, Wheel of Fortune. I don't know if it's you or the other person, but somebody's got their eye on something that looks promising to them. Something feel something is growing. Something is growing. And it's gonna be revealed to you. Somebody may decide not to move forward, or this is you. This is you. afraid to jump all the way into the connection with you but they were afraid to end it too but it's like what's causing them to end it something that they cannot get off of their mind is this you but it's bringing them to this decision it's bringing them to this decision they feel like it's too much community too much um fights or too much drama between the two of you. Almost like if this was supposed to be, if this was real between us, then how did it become this or something like that? I don't know. What does that mean? This is like somebody who knows that maybe it's time for things to, it's like, I'm ready to be happy. I'm ready to set things right in my life. And maybe setting things right in my life means that something between us has to stop. Is this 
you. This is a tough reading. Is this you? This person has that. Sorry, Scorpio. I do not like this reading, but this person has their eye on someone else. It's, it's this. What is this talking about? Somebody feels like it's too much conflict. You could be married to this person. Somebody is shooting for a blank slate. Somebody's looking at the, I mean, I don't want to keep repeating. I don't want to keep repeating the story, but this looks like a breakup and somebody not wanting to let go. Somebody not being happy with the other person's decision. Also, I can't help but look at this devil card. I feel like somebody did cheat before, right? But they're trying to avoid doing that again. So it's almost like to avoid doing that again, I, I should move on. I should actually just let go. So it's almost like somebody's wanting to again. And I feel like somebody's trying to stop someone from getting out of the door. But this time, there's really been a disconnect. This devil card has been popping up a lot. And now it's in the reverse. The song that just started playing is called Departing. <sighs> Travel could be involved for some of you. I am going to pull advice. This was interesting. Something is taboo. I feel like if somebody's moving towards something new, they don't want to. They don't want to cheat. That's what I'm getting. God, this was a hard message. But this just looks like a relationship that has. It's like I don't even want to hold any resentment. I don't want to even hold on to anything. I just want to be. I just want to be free because I feel like there was deception in the past. Someone shut off their emotions. That could have been you. But then it's like when you shut your emotions off. It's still not healing the relationship, but you need to shut your emotions off because we all go into this self-healing mode when someone hurts us. Let me see something. Harvness in the reverse at the bottom of the deck again. The issue for you this person may have been questioning whether or not you may have wondered if this person lined up with where it was that you wanted to be. One of you is like, is this how you feel? Yeah. I don't know. I mean, some of you have judged the, the other person, you know? Like, I didn't really make room for you because I didn't know if you completely met my standards. It's almost like a, I don't know, kind of side-eyed the person. But then I didn't realize how much I was going to miss you until you were gone. On the other side, and you take it how it resonates, somebody may be realizing, like, somebody feels like I deserve something better than this. This is this hasn't been fertile. Somebody may fight dirty. It may have been really hard for someone to open up. It's something about there is another person involved. And it's like, I wish that you were this person or that. I don't know if this person has felt guilty about the mistakes that they've made. It's like, I don't want to feel guilty anymore. I don't want to be. It's like something like that. I know it's like they're taking accountability for whatever happened, 
And it's like, I don't want to be punished for it anymore. I don't want to suffer for it anymore. Something like that. This is still someone who feels like, I wish things could be different. But I still feel like something is missing for me. Both wanting to reach out. Both admitting that there's a, a special connection between the two of you. But I don't feel better about the situation. I feel like whoever pulled away the other person is, is is pulling the other person in. Maybe we just didn't know how to go about this. But I do see someone burying themselves and work in order to forget about it. But I, it's like I can feel you leaving me behind. I feel like someone cheated in the past and then they're trying not to do it anymore. The other person may have retaliated and unsuccessfully so. Because it's like, I'm still stuck on you. It's like, someone may have felt like it wasn't worth the fight to fix it. I can't ignore the signs that I'm receiving any longer. And someone is kind of taking their carnal desires out of the picture, their physical. It's like, there's something that somebody wants to go for and, they, and it's not just about physicality. And there may be resentments about that. Something about a missed opportunity. Ooh, this was a lot. And I'm just going to have to leave it there. I'm going to pull advice for you, Scorpio. Though. Let's see. Scorpio. Advice for Scorpio. This looks like something is ending. And some, I, I feel like if this is on your side, if somebody's ending things with you, sit with the part of you that feels like you need this. And ask that part of you some questions. This is like forgiving someone and letting go, you know? It may really plague you how everything played out, all of the injustice that you experienced in this connection it may plague you, but it's also something that's setting you free from someone who couldn't follow through with all of their promises, who I do feel is sorry about that. Sorry about not being able to stay or commit or something like that. But I just see you letting go of the past being the advice. Not covering your eyes to what was hidden from you. The truth is, there's another person. Queen of Wands. And that's why the, your person, I feel, has been back and forth. Because these two are showing up as a match. Ay, Dios. There's, I said that there's something growing. There's something growing. And I feel like it's between these two. Four of Wands, Magician, Two of Cups. You leaving this behind, you, you allowing and going with the flow of this, like forgiving and letting go, I will no longer hold Harper any resentment, hatred, bitterness towards you at all. I set myself free from this. Will help you to dodge a major bullet. 
and I'm hearing shot to the heart and you're shot to the heart and you know and you don't blame shot to the heart and you're to blame darling you give love a bad name y'all go listen to that song the four of swords keeps coming up allow yourself to feel this one so you ain't got to feel it no more to heal from this one. So, so, you, so, the, so the next person that comes into your life doesn't have to heal it and you run them away. Something like that. Scorpio, a lot of y'all dealing with a Capricorn. For a lot of you, this is a Capricorn. And it's like the thrill between the two of you is gone. Confidence. It comes with time and it takes practice. A lot of you, this may have been a hit to your confidence. The number 23 could be significant. You could have met this person when you were 23. It seems like everywhere around you, people are chattering about how confident they are and just how freeing it feels. You wish you could relate to them, but you haven't gotten there yet. Listen, it's all right. They're not there either. <laughs> Confidence is not an instant or overnight evolution. Just like with everything else, it takes time, practice, and a lot of unlearning of toxicity. Scorpio, I'm going to leave it there. Like, share, and subscribe if this resonated with you, and I'll see you in the next one. Ciao.